I'm Bonnie Bartlett, and I played Grace. I'm probably the oldest cast member alive. I'm 94. And one day, Jimmy, one of the agents, said, uh, we have an appointment for you to go see Mike Landon, just a general appointment. And he just hired me right there. And uh, that was it. I didn't read or anything. I was pushed into the scene right away. And the character and everything. And we just, I, for me, I was like winging it. It was just so fast and so much fun. And he, they all made it so easy for me. And they all appreciated me so much. They thought I was terrific. <laughs> There's nothing better than that. <laughs> and I'm, the very first show I did, I met Isaiah. The way for old Dan Tucker, he's too late to get his supper. Oh, and I worked with Melissa, and I loved her. She was this wonderful girl, and it was just a great experience. I loved the clothes. I always loved to put my hair up with the top knot. I loved all of that. Oh, the necklines are so beautiful, and they're little handmade things. They're just my idea of heaven. For me, it was the first time that I thought I was pretty. That was very important, and part of that was Michael. In other words, Michael always thought I was very pretty, and he photographed me so well. That was just wonderful for me as an actress, because I had never had that feeling before, ever. And it was so weird for me to have that experience, because I, you know, I was Lady Macbeth. I was, I was very heavy dramatic actress. If you're not going to ask me, I'm going to have to ask you. Well, yes or no? When I, I got a script and I had practically nothing to say, and of course I'm from the theater, and I said, oh, wow, there's, there's nothing to do in here. I mean, what is this? He said, that's why we have you here. Would you like a drink? Oh, That's why we want you here. Thank you. So that you are here, and when we need you, we can use you, we find you. Isaiah pretends not to be interested in me, and of course I know that he is, because you always know that. And so we kind of tease each other a lot. So that's why you sent the letter to yourself? Well, you ain't mad at me, are you, ma'am? Oh. oh, no. Not in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> he was the perfect foil for me. Playing, when I'm playing this little lady. Do you know what I mean, this lovely little lady? You a member of the family? No, oh, ma'am, there's no friend. Well, there isn't anything for them today, but you'd have to get an authorization signed by Mr. Ingalls before I could accede to your request. Well, that ain't my request, Miss Ingalls. Nevertheless. Uh -huh. Well, it'd be nice talking to you, ma'am. He kind of... Actually, Michael taught me a lot of stuff about television. You have to come totally prepared and totally able to change it 100%. Grace, uh, I know this ain't the time or the place, but if we're going to have us a family, we ought to get ourselves married. Oh, I see. I, oh, I love you. You hear that? I ain't afraid to say it no more. And I love them kids, too. Well, the point is, if you all have me, I'll do my best to make you happy. Well, I'll do the best I can, too. It was so much fun to get married. On, on, uh, uh, play a scene where I'm getting married, and, and I, I was in almost 50, you know. I now pronounce you man and wife. You know, my favorite moment is when a woman came in, rushed in, and was clearly pregnant or have 
it was just a few hours after the birth of her baby. And she came to the convention. It was the last day. She said, I tried to do it earlier, but I, I was just dumbfounded that she would be so intent on getting to meet us that she would do that. Because, I mean, she, she shouldn't be up running around like that, but she was. Michael would be so happy that 50 years from the time that they all did it, that we all did it, that everybody still likes to watch it. And everybody, I guess, I guess a lot of acting is teaching. And that, that he's taught thousands and thousands of people, maybe millions of people with his show. He's taught them some good things. Yeah. It's wonderful.